press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Amrullah Saleh, you're one of the most vocal critics of your neighbour Pakistan. Uh, you've repeatedly accused them of carrying out, of supporting attacks on civilians within Afghanistan. Uh, wouldn't your case against Pakistan, which a lot of people share, wouldn't it be stronger if Afghanistan as well wasn't quote, hosting quote-unquote terrorists who launch attacks inside of Pakistan? I'm thinking here of Mullah Fazlullah uh, from the Pakistani Taliban, the TTP, which has carried out horrific attacks on Pakistani civilians. He's been in Afghanistan for seven, eight years now? The reality is that uh, Pakistan has unleashed uh, such a massive uh, chaos along the Durand line that it has made it so porous and it has turned it into a fertile ground for all types of criminality and violence. Had the Pakistani state not weakened us through support of the Taliban, today we would have been in full control of our borders and there would have been no black holes or no unspaced, uh, ungoverned space in my country. So the sin and the guilt of, of whatever is happening along the border goes back to the Pakistani army headquarters in Rawalpindi. They are sinful for, for all, the, all the violence in Afghanistan and all the violence back in their country as a spillover of their wrong policies. And you've said that the US bombing inside of Pakistan is, quote, part of the solution. But many would argue, including former US generals, former CIA operatives, that US bombing campaigns and drone strikes have only destabilized Pakistan, have only helped the Taliban there. So your country only suffers, does it not, if the US takes a more hawkish stance on Pakistan. There's just more blowback inside of Afghanistan. I absolutely reject uh, that notion and that analysis. I don't think by bombing Taliban in Pakistan, Pakistan will be destabilized. No, Pakistan is a very insecure state. It, it lacks self-confidence. It lacks self-esteem. So they are, they are introducing these proxy groups in order to uh, spread their influence in a very bizarre way in the region. So if the United States intensified bombing of the sanctuaries on the other side of the Duran line, it will show the muscle of a superpower to, to the Pakistanis. So far, U.S. is already bombing Pakistan, but not in a scale we all desire, which should be uh, as much as they've dropped bombs on Afghanistan. They should bomb, e drop equal or more uh, amount of bombs on Pakistani side so that they, so, the, the, so the pain so your solution is, is drop more is bombs everywhere. The That's Pakistanis the way to solve they should the Afghan region. That pain is pain. So a, a region which has been blighted by war for decades, your solution no, is to drop no, more bombs are, in all parts no, of it. No, you are twisting it. You I'm are repeating twisting what you just it. said. No, no. You said we should have as many bombs in Pakistan no. as there are in Afghanistan. No, you are twisting it. If, if no, 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 no. Yeah, let me, uh, let me answer it. If Mullah Haibatilla and Haqqanis are in, in Pakistan, why should a bomb be dropped on Kandahar? It should be dropped on Quetta. It should be dropped, a smart bomb should be dropped on Haqqani's house wherever he is in Rawalpindi. That's what I'm suggesting. <laughs>